What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJP1 here, live with the final stance. And I've got a surprise guest tonight. Um, it is none other than Mrs. Phenomenal, the most beautiful woman in the world, my amazing wife. Hey, hey. You gotta speak louder in that, bay. Oh. Yeah, you gotta get close. Hey, hey. Alright, so... <laughs> So tonight, um, we're doing something new uh, here. I've done it on here with Dwayne before, but mainly that was with wrestling. And uh, my wife's not really a big wrestling fan, uh, even though she is a huge Kevin Owens fan. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some lists, kind of like a draft type thing, where uh, we pick some categories. We each made our own little lists. And uh, we're just kind of do like a little draft thing. Uh, we got Disney Channel movies. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to do at that. I'm not really a big Disney Channel movie person, but we'll see. Um, we got some rap, country. We're going to do TV shows, rock music. And we kind of made it like a pop. Uh, category alternative. pop alternative kind of like uh, artists and bands that kind of don't really fit one genre of music that kind of float back and forth to a bunch of others but uh, so yeah we're gonna have some fun we're gonna do that and uh, see what we got going on and I'm gonna have my wife start it off with her first pick Ooh. What's what's what, what you got, Bay? Which category are we doing first? Uh, I thought you said you wanted to do Disney Channel movies. All right, so I would say my number one pick. There we go. Oh gosh. Dead air, Bay. Ah, uh, I know. I it's hard to say. Number one, I'm gonna say Cadet Kelly. It's a classic. This cat has got to stop getting down there. <laughs> Cadet Kelly, number one? Yeah. Oh, All right. Wow. Respectable. All right. Um, I think with my first pick, I'm going with the classic. I'm going Brink. I didn't even put that one on my list because I knew that was going to be your number one. Oh, yeah. And it's definitely not my number one. You can't go wrong with Brink. Um, My second one, I'm saying Jump In. Never seen it. Oh, it has a... Corbin Blue. I had the biggest crush on him. I have no idea who that is. He's a beautiful specimen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go with my number two pick. I'm going Horse Sense. It's a good one. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Not the Lawrence Brothers. Well. Let's, their acting wasn't top notch, but they're good. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> Whoa. Um, my third is going to be Camp Rock. Oof. Dan Lovato. I hated that movie. I ma I did make you watch it. You did, I? you did, and it was awful. Ugh. Um, my number three, I'm going Smart House. Mm, number three, yeah, can't go wrong. Quintessential late '90s, early 2000s Disney movie. You gotta it, love it. It really is. You gotta love it. All right, my fourth pick, right? Fourth? Yeah, number four. The Cheetah Girls. Ugh! Wow. All right. <laughs> I was all about them. Okay. I was right. obsessed. <laughs> all right. My number four. Stop I'm good. Oh, my fault. Sorry. I, I can't click my own pen on my own podcast. It's annoying. <laughs> I got to mark out who I'm taking. All right. Number four 80s million dollar cook off. That is a good one. Yes. I got to go with that one. I love that you're picking all the manliest ones you can think of. Okay. That's cute. All right, what's your fifth? All right, my fifth. Ugh, it's almost like a tie. Okay. Between Hannah Montana, the uh, movie. All right. And The Color of Friendship. Oof, okay. Right? All right. I just love the story. The story's great, but who doesn't love Miley? That's true. So they're tied. Actually, a lot of people don't I like know, Miley. I they can go somewhere. <laughs> so I'm doing a tie for the, my fifth. All right, so you're doing a tie? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go and pick one that you didn't pick. What did I forget? <laughs> oh, you're going to kick yourself in the ass with this one. Uh-huh. No, Kermit. 
True Confessions. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Yep. No. That's my fifth pick, True Confessions. How did I forget them? I don't know. It's not even on my list. But I see it. I seen that. Are they a Disney original movie? Yeah. Are you sure? Bay, it had Shia LaBeouf in it when he was a kid. Yeah, it's a Disney movie. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Woo! Look, look at that's fine. Look, look at me coming in with the steal. The best steal. Right. Mm. It wasn't even on my list. Mm. Clearly, it wasn't on my. Like, look, I had Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Remember the Titans. Okay. Do you want to hear the rest of my list? Huh. I had. Uh, I don't even know. Remember the Titans? Xenon. Okay. That's a good one. Never seen it. Cadet Kelly. Yeah. Cowbells. Double teamed. Okay, see, I almost put double teamed on That's here. That's a good one. And I almost put motocross too. I made you watch those too. Yeah, you did. I make good picks. You right? also made me watch uh, Eddie's Million Dollar Cookoff. Was that me? Yeah. Huh, you're I, welcome. I'd never seen it before. It's a good one. It's, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. What's there not to love? Cooking, baseball. It's great. What could possibly go wrong? Right. All right, That's so, a quote from another Disney movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm picking country next. Okay. All right. All right, we're definitely not going to have the same people. No. Mm-mm. All right, so. Who are you picking? Uh, I go first? Mm-hmm. Oh, for me, my first pick, hands down, is and always will be Alan Jackson. Okay. Always will be. I'm not really so much in the mainstream country anymore. Okay. So. A lot of people probably won't even know my people. All right, who you got? So, first one's going to be Nick D, who could also probably be classified under that, like, whatever genre. Who the hell is Nick D? I know, right? He has beautiful music. You're, like I said, you're not going to know any of my stuff. Okay. Um, Let me see if I can get to it. No, you no, no. Aw, okay. No, fine. because of copyright issues. Oh, well, no, I was going to show it to you. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not going to play it. We'll do it later. We'll do it. It's the 8 to Infinity song. Okay, we'll, we'll do it later. Okay. I do know that. That's a good song. Mm-hmm. That's who sings it. Okay, all right. <laughs> now you make me sound like a poser because all mine are like top, top tier people. <laughs> 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 um, my number two. Mm-hmm. My number two. I gotta go. Hank Williams. Okay. My number two is Patty Loveless. I have two. She's my cousin. She's All always right. going to be on my list forever. All right. My number three, I got to go Travis Tritt. Okay. I love me some Travis Tritt. Patsy Klein. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I see your Patsy Klein and I raise you a Kenny Chesney. Oh. Really? No. That I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this number four or five? Four. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Wait. Yeah, four. Yeah. You're going to judge me again for this one because you don't know them. V. Wills. Who? They're new. Why do I feel like I'm in some like hipster bar I'm, right now with your music? I'm sorry they're not mainstream. No, because you're like, you're like non-mainstream and then you're going to hit me with a... My classics. Yeah. <laughs> What did you say, Patty Loveless? Patty Loveless. And, and then you Patsy hit me with Klein. a Patsy Klein, and now you're like, V Wills. V Wills, come on down. <laughs> you're the next contestant on Who the Hell Are You? That's <laughs> rude. <laughs> Their voice, like Nick D and V Wills, I love them both. Go ahead. All right, so my number five. Oh, man. This is where it gets hard. Um. Man, I'm going to throw out, and this is a curveball, but I'm going to go Montgomery Gentry. Ooh, at five. okay. All right. I was going to go, it was between them, it was between them, Keith Urban, <laughs> and Sawyer Brown. But I had to go Montgomery Gentry. All right, all right. The last one is going to be Keith Urban. Can't have a list without him. <sighs> Well, he makes a couple of your lists. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I did have Reba on my list. Did you? Also, I, I, yeah, and Tim McGraw. Good ones. I also have Morgan Wallen. Me too. I, he, 
I don't agree with what he did, but it's whatever. I just like his music. We all screw up. His music's kick ass. I don't care what you say. Josh Ross made my list. I saw him in concert with Tawny. Who the hell is Josh Ross? He, You know a few of his songs because I've had you listen to them. But he opened up for uh, Nickelback uh, this past summer. Oh, the concert and I couldn't the, go to. The Red Flags. He, he sings Red Flags. Okay. He has a lot of other songs. Oh, too. okay. I know that song. I, that's why I said that. Because okay. I know it. Yeah. Great one. All right. What are we doing next? I'm choosing the pop alternative music. Okay. The the weird category. Yeah. No All one's right. going to know. Well, most people will not know any of these people or some. All right. Who you got? All Ooh. right. My number one uh-huh. is going to be Shannon Blake. Hands down, if you haven't heard from her, you need to listen to her. You really do, honestly. If you don't know who Shannon Blake is, I get on Spotify, listen to a couple of her songs. She's got that real groovy, chill out kind of vibe. positive vibe type music. It's mm-hmm. it's good. I'm not really into that type of stuff, but I do like some of her songs. She actually is pretty decent, and she's beautiful. That doesn't hurt, yeah. She's stunning. Yeah. Um, I am going out, because, like, dude's on, like, 18 different categories of music. I don't care what anyone says. I'm throwing it out there. My number one pick's Post Malone. I hate you. Uh, that, that's my dude. Like I I chose him for my rap list, so. That's 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 my guy. He's on, on country. He's on pop. He's on rap. He does it all. He's got... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's got rock songs out there. He does everything. Exactly. So that's my guy. Total package deal with music. It, like, as far as artists out there, like he's my number one favorite artist out right now. Like I, I love Post Malone. You know this. I respect that. All right. What's your number two? Noah Cyrus. All right. Respect. Okay. I am going out in my number two pick because you can't really call them rock. You can't really call them alternative because they play them on all the pop radio stations when they were out big my number two picks imagine dragons oh that's a good one yeah i love me some imagine dragons all right my next pick is miley of course okay all right but i had to, i had to have both my cyruses you do you do you like them i'm gonna need you to speak up a little bit more i'm sorry there you go is that better yeah okay I- <laughs> <laughs> all right um my number three picks colby calais oh, so beautiful yes. i love her voice number four abel hart check him out i highly recommend his if you like good beats like good vibing out just chilling to good beats highly recommend this dude uh he's got some pretty sweet beats my number four pick um again same same way as Imagine Dragons. Can't really call them rock. Can't really call them any really main genre because they get played on a bunch of different type of radio stations. I'm going with The Fray mm. at number four. Oh, so good. By the way, they are rock emo. I Googled them. Are they? And that's they're on my list. Okay. I, I, I love The Fray. <laughs> my last pick is obviously going to be Demi Lovato. I was wondering when that was coming in. I knew she was safe. So I saved yeah, your blast. That's smart. That's yeah. smart. Um, my fifth and final pick, OAR. I don't have my phone. Otherwise. Mm-hmm. You can't play the song anyway. Well, I was just going to pull up one because I know you'd know him. But anyway, OAR. I'm, right. I like him a lot. Okay. All right. So. That list is done. Now that it's your list, turn. That list is done. What else we got here? We got rap, rap rock, rock. emo, and TV shows. Oof. All right, so it'll be me, then you. All right. I think we should save TV shows for last. That's fine, because I don't really want to do that one. Why? Because <laughs> I couldn't think of any TV shows. <laughs> we, you, and you can't really put Bones down five times. I know. <laughs> it's hard. Um. Uh, let's go rock. Rock, rock slash emo. Okay, okay. All right. I get number one pick. Yep. Anyone that knows me knows my number one pick. I get made. I've been made fun of it for <laughs> twenty three years. Nickelback, my number one pick. And I did not put them on my list specifically because I knew I was not going to get them. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. What's All right. yours? My number one 
Fallout Boy. Okay. They saved my life back in uh they're, 06. They're good. They're good. Not I'm not a big fan of them, but I respect what they've done. All right. So you I got Nickelback my number 2 pick. Lincoln Park. Mm. Okay, okay. Um back how back when Hybrid Theory dropped that album still to this day is probably the most played album I've ever had. On top between that and Silver Side Up by Nickelback, uh, those two albums got me through middle school. Like that's mi- how Fall Out Boy was for me. Middle school under the was, cork street tree was rough for me being a fat kid. So that those two albums got me through it. So Lincoln Park at two. My number two is going to be Hinder. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're welcome. All right. I forgot all about Hinder. I could never. <laughs> all right. Um, for me, number three, Metallica. <laughs> Far from my list. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Number uh, three for me, Avril. Okay. Forever Avril. All right. Not like Her new stuff is good. But that, it's that old stuff. Right. The first three or four records. She was a skater boy. She says, see you later, boy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Number four. For me, I got to go... I got to go Rob Zombie at four. Another safe one on my list. <laughs> Good Charlotte. Another one safe for my list. <laughs> <laughs> I told you when we were doing this rock, we would be complete opposites. Rock emo, yeah, not the same. No, we're um, safe. I'm more on the emo. You're more on the rock. Yeah, number five. I gotta go Slipknot at five. All right, my number five, Simple Plan. Oof, I, lo- I know. Okay, all right. I can't believe that one made it. I I, I love me some Simple Plan, but. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can't, uh, of, of, I think I got like 10 bands here. I could never put Simple Plan over any of these 10 and be okay. Okay. Like, no disrespect. Right. So, rap is going to suck. <laughs> Why? Because on my list, I got six. <laughs> you, only, you only need five. I know, but you're going to steal them. I highly doubt it. My first two, you're going to steal. Highly doubt it. Can I pick two first and you pick two? <laughs> Go for it. All right, cool. I get Lil Wayne and Eminem. Okay, I had Eminem, but yeah. Lil Wayne is not on my list. Okay. All right. All right, cool. so you got Lil Wayne and Eminem. Yes. All right, respect it. Thank you. All right, so my first, I'm going Notorious B.I.G. Mm-hmm. And my second, I'm going 50 Cent. All right. Are we doing third and fourth or just third, or third now? Third now. All right. Post Malone. Oh. Remember I categories him. I looked him up. It said rap. Okay. All right. I'll give you that. All and right. We can both have them on different lists. Woo-hoo. All right. So number three, I'm going three six mafia. Nicki Minaj. Ooh. All right. For every category. <laughs> <laughs> number four, I'm going Ludacris. Ooh, he got the beat to beat the boot go. Right. Um. Number four for me is. Oh, no, five. Yeah, this would be your number five. JK, number five. I'm going to go with Young Ma. I've been <laughs> such a big, like, I've been geeking. You call her Stephanie. I, I call, call her Hephany. <laughs> I own up the doors for a hoe. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yes, you got he me said, on that. He said, get your money, sis. <laughs> I just caught a body, Randy Moss. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm going to start singing that whole damn song now. Uh, for me, number five, I gotta go Paul Wall. Okay. I love me some Paul Wall. You do. That's that's true. Yeah. All right. So now final list. Final list. TV, TV shows. shows. <laughs> that was good. We're so lame. <laughs> and that's why we're married. <laughs> right. No one else would put up with us. All right. So I got number one. Oh, okay. What show are we watching now? We're watching so many TV shows. What, what, what What's the one we've been watching today? Sons. Sons of Anarchy, number one. So, I should have had you with me when I was making my list, because I went blank. 
in there. Oh, babe. Completely brain dead. This is the one that I went, like, ham on. Can I read your list to steal some? Sure. Go really? Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's love. Thanks, baby. Of course. Good luck finding one you want to steal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like how to say it. <laughs> All right. I, I told so, you. Number one for me, I'm going to put, say, um, 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 I didn't write it down on my list because I just popped it in my head. Okay. Thrones. Game of Thrones. Damn, that didn't make my list. It did not, and I'm shocked. Wow. It didn't, it didn't, I wasn't on my list either, but I, now there was Sons, and we're watching that right now. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I just suck. All right. Number two, I'm going Yellowstone. All right. Number two for me, I'm going to say Jane the Virgin. Good show. It is, and I'm so glad you watched it with I, me finally. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. He kept saying, one more episode, and it's like 3 a.m. Okay, so <laughs> if you've never watched Jane the Virgin, or if you've never watched a telenovela, they leave you on cliffhangers on every damn episode. So, like, we're sitting there. She gets home from work. We watch, like... Two or three episodes, and then she's like, oh, I gotta go to bed. And I'm like, bullshit, we gotta know what happens. So, this was back when I was on leave of absence from work due to COVID. And she'd go to work, and I'd have to sit there and not watch it during the day to try and find out what the hell happened. It <laughs> drove me insane. <laughs> but abuse. it's a great show if you <laughs> like cliffhangers. Alright, so, my number three show... The Office. S V U. By the way, I was going to say S U V. That's why I had to stop myself. My fourth show, and I just bit my tongue. Um, I gotta go. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Bones. All time number one favorite show, but I knew it'd last this long. Bones. My number five. Ooh. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. See, because I was prepared for ten, and you come in here with, nope, we got to go to five. <laughs> um, my number five. I got to go shameless. Ooh, it's a good one. I'm yeah. going criminal minds. Which one? The original or the new one? The OG. Okay. All right. I was going to say. No, always the OG. I'm surprised Chicago PD didn't make your list. It did not. I'm surprised. Or, uh, shit. House. Or ER. House was on my list. Friends. Babe, I told you my head went, like, all that was out of my head. It's like I've never seen a TV show ever in my life when it came to me, me making my list. I, Do you want to hear the shows I put on? Literally, yeah. this was me struggling for yeah. life. Yeah, what'd you get? So, Bones. Okay. SVU. Okay. Jane the Virgin. Okay. House. Criminal Minds. Okay. The Rookie. Not Dead Yet. My, my brain was fried. I couldn't <laughs> tell you. You went with shows we're watching now. Yes, because I literally couldn't think of anything. Dang, <laughs> It's like I never watched a TV show in my life. Right? Like, <laughs> wow, I think I can make your list better for you than you. You could. <laughs> my brain went done. It was, She shut down. She's like, it's time for my nap. She's like, nap time. <laughs> it was hard. Oh. See, that was fun. That was fun. I'm sorry y'all had to hear my voice. Oh, stop it. They have to hear me, so. And it's not like I got a whole lot of people to watch this anyway. Touche. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, so we're gonna get off here. Wash some suns. That's right. I need to get something to drink. I need to make dinner. Yeah. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> At some point. I'm not really that hungry right now. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that was your your. Uh, first glimpse into our mini lists and to how we work uh hopefully my beautiful wife will be joining me for more it's always a possibility i was really hoping to do some uh true crime episodes oh but i would 
Exactly. That's why I want you on, on here to do that with me. I could do that sometime. All right, cool. All right. Do you so, listen to any podcasts? Me? Like true crime podcasts? Uh, no, I don't really listen to podcasts. I do one, but I don't really listen to any. My number one favorite There's is Bailey Syrian. I've heard that name before. Because I've told you about her. She does okay. the makeup Monday makeup Monday oh, and yeah. murder history. Yeah. I don't really know the words. But anyways, that's a gist. Found her on YouTube years ago. Okay. There's also I've watched a couple episodes, um of these two women, they're from Indiana. Hmm. They do uh like cold case podcasts. Ooh, I need and to find stuff. Them. Yeah. Um, they did one on um the murders here in town from really? yeah from like uh they remember me telling you about the guy who was killed with his stepdaughter yes yeah I told my mom that story yeah they did an episode on that one um so that was pretty cool I would like to get into that because obviously I'm infatuated with that shit uh I definitely want to do one on the Crispin Wall mm. murder. Uh, I say he didn't do it. I don't think he did either. Um, there's just... We'll get into that. That yes. That's a whole episode. Yes. Um, and then there's other ones that I, I like. To, I'd like to start like a serial killer. What? I was just thinking we probably shared about this stuff because it's no longer about our top faves. Oh, no, but it's still my podcast. I'm about the hell I want. <laughs> <laughs> um... I would like to talk, uh, but also it's like introducing you to my three listeners. Okay. So like the, the ones that don't know me. Yeah, it's like Dwayne and Brett. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, like yeah, I think it'd be fun. I like to do one like where we talk about serial killers and yes, uh, anything and everything crime. I'm there for it. All right. All right. Cool. Let's do that. We'll have uh, we'll have to come up with a name for it. Ooh. Yeah, so that way we can title it whenever. So I you want me it. to come up with another name because I came up with the final stance. Actually, no, I did. No, you did not. Bay, I have a group that I started back in 2014. Doesn't matter. When it came to naming your thing, I didn't know about that. It doesn't matter. Doesn't I'd count. already come up with it. Doesn't matter. My reason, like, you, no, no, no. I was looking at it. Shush. Leave my. Oh, that's cool. It's plastic. Yeah, it is. Leave it alone. Don't touch. It's my workstation. Don't touch. Touched it. Don't. That always makes me think it's glowing. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm yeah. done. All right, cool. Let's go get something to drink, watch some suns, enjoy the night. Kermit's right behind me. The <laughs> cat's still in here. Oh, this is technically Kermit's first podcast, too. <gasps> Welcome to the podcast, Kermit. You want to come say hi? Come say hi. He's shy. Say hi. I'm sure if I hold him long enough, he'll cry. Say hi to the people, Kermit. Make a sound. He has, he's he's literally pushing the microphone away. He doesn't want to talk. He said, no, thank you, peace. He's like, I'm not built for this. He said, I'm ready for bed. He bit me. Don't bite. <laughs> but anyway, enough dead air. That's been our list, our draft. We've had some fun. You finally met uh, my better half. I tried to introduce you to my cat, but he's like, nah, I ain't having this. Um, but this has been your boy DJP1, and this has been my final stance.